Hello from Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh, the longest natural sea beach in the world. I'm staying here at Mermaid Beach Resort, where I was six years ago. It has changed a bit since then, as has Cox's Bazaar. A lot of development has happened since 2018. I'm going to spend the late afternoon and early evening here walking along the beach and going for a swim as the sun sets. So this here is my beach hut, outside shower and coconut trees. And if we go into the room, large, comfy and soft double bed, fridge, TV, the toilet, bath, and of course, the best part, stepping out to the back and a pool in front of my room, connecting to the other rooms and views of the beach, just a stone's throw away. The longest beach in the world and the gentle swaying of the trees, a very laid back atmosphere. So if you're interested in staying in a beach hut like this, then the link for Mermaid Beach Resort is in the video description. There are a variety of rooms here at the resort. One of the highlights being the sleeping boat room, which when the tide is much closer to the resort later in the year, it feels like you're sleeping on a boat as the name goes. Everything in the resort is made of recycled material There are all sorts of creative ways that things have been built here, whether it's bamboo or old rusted tin cans. Wood from abandoned ships in Chittagong and along the coast of Bangladesh on the Bay of Bengal. Hello. And we're approaching the restaurant over here, which has a lot of great food that I've been lucky enough to try since arriving. This is where breakfast is served. The longest swimming pool in Cox's Bazaar, 300 meters, juice bar, where you can chill and relax. So stepping out from the resort behind me onto the longest uninterrupted sea beach in the world, 120 kilometers or 75 miles. And the tide is very far out after this section of water. The real tide is in the distance. My GoPro probably doesn't even show it that much. I have Mittelby with me. How are you finding it here? Yeah, enjoying both of us having some relaxing time yeah. together. And the resort was quite nice also. They're keeping us good and giving priority to everything what we need. Hello. 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 Football game on the beach here. Just heading to check out some of these boats. What do you call them in Bangladesh? They're not dows here. They're called shampan or the moon boat. Mm -hmm. And they're usually traditionally used by fishermen. Yeah, they're traditionally used by fishermen. They can be used for different cases. Salam alaikum. So here is a shampan up close. Champagne, yes. Champagne, yes. Yeah. Your country? England. England. 
Ja, ja. It is stuck here, I guess, until the tide comes, as are the others on the beach further up, with more groups of kids playing football. The sun almost disappearing now, beneath the horizon like a big red disc. Those men there, locals, just going for a stroll at the sunset hour. Tomorrow we will head further up the beach and check out some different areas away from the resort, which is just over there. And also head into Cox's Bazaar town too. Welcome back, it is now the next day and we have made our way up the coastline to the center of Cox's Bazaar Town. We're gonna check out the vibe and head to the main beach, public beach. There are actually a few, I think three, but we'll go to the most central one here. Souvenir shops selling clothes, sandals, swimming shorts and bags. Where many locals come for a break to be able to swim, to go on holiday. Mosque there and this is the entrance to the beach. Snacks, sweets, kind of a mix of many things. Stepping on here to Shugonda Beach and I am amazed at how many people you'll find along the coastline. It's right in the middle of the day, very hot at the moment, but that doesn't stop people here. They're not really afraid of the sun. Different vendors and things. Guava. So Mermaid Beach Resort is that way, about 20 minutes in a rickshaw south. It's nice and breezy, the waves are looking good. Lots of locals enjoying themselves. It's kind of like a festival type of atmosphere. This man selling bananas. Lots of vendors passing by with different things. And jet skis for hire. Lots of people riding them in the distance there. Although it is very sunny and a hot time of day, and there are lots of people swimming, most people are still wearing t-shirts and tops and Long shorts even. Which is more of a cultural thing than anything else. So regardless of where you're staying, whether it is in Mermaid or another resort in Cox's Bazaar or even in the town, Checking out this beach or one of the main beaches next to the center of Fox's Bazaar is worth it just to people watch and get the idea of what the real beach experience is like for many locals here in Bangladesh. It's not like Mermaid Resort. This is where the masses come to enjoy their time. And so if you're interested just to get a glimpse of that or even go for a swim yourself, on this very large open part of the beach then you can but just bear in mind that you shouldn't really wear a bikini if you're a woman or be too exposed if you're a man either.
So a rickshaw journey from Cox's Bazaar town on the main public beach there and we are by this wooded area that I also visited six years ago. A large span of open space here with less people showing the natural beauty of Cox's Bazaar once again. There are some areas here to go paragliding. Immediately it gets quite hilly and Myanmar is over that way. One thing I probably should touch upon is the Rohingya refugee crisis because that's something that internationally Cox's Bazaar became more known for in the last decade. One of the largest refugee camps in the world and many of the refugees I believe are on an island now and there's been quite a lot of tension between Bangladesh and Myanmar in recent years. The Myanmar government are not receiving any of the Rohingyas. They're not really welcome there anymore and the Bangladeshis are struggling to know what to do with them without any international support. It's difficult to relocate those vast numbers of people. It's a bit of an issue that seems to have been kind of a stalemate for a while, a non-starter. Bigger forces in the world are not intervening on this issue and so it's left to NGOs to try and pick up the pieces for the moment and keep the people fed, give them somewhere to live and the money has not been coming in as much as it was a few years ago because of other conflicts and things around the world such as Gaza and Ukraine and in the Congo and of course the list goes on but that doesn't mean the Rohingya crisis has gone away in fact it is still here and something I thought I should mention however it's safe to visit Cox's Bazaar you'll still see lots of people coming on their holidays locals and some international tourists too staying at the resorts so you can still come here, it's still safe. So now back here at Mermaid Beach Resort and look at this view in front of me here. The boat and the sunset right there. This is the scene. The tide far out now, further down the beach here. In paradise. Here are the other rooms, as I said before, connected to the private pool. The nice cold water here. And this may well be an appropriate place to finish this video and the link for Mermaid Beach Resort is in the video description if you're interested in staying here for a couple of days to cap off your Bangladesh trip if you make a visit here. Peace.